Welcome loves. Today we are making our own whipped shea butter hair cream, which I have dubbed my miracle shea goodness. Let's get into it. I am using the double boiler method. I just have a Pyrex sitting on boiling water and I'm going to be putting my stuff in there. First, melt the shea butter in your Pyrex. You have to give it time until the entire shea butter has melted. butter has melted I am going to start putting all the oils in them first I'm using olive oil olive oil is hydrating it softens and smoothens your hair to decrease tangling and snagging it repairs the ends and combats dandruff and flakiness and you can get them from Amazon or Walmart next I am adding four tablespoons of grapeseed oil Grapeseed oil is a lighter oil than olive oil. Um, it's going to make your hair lock in moisture and prevent frizz. Next, we're going to be using some avocado oil. This will repair and protect. It acts as a natural sunscreen for your scalp as well. I'm going to add some castor oil. I love the thickness of castor oil. I love how it makes my hair feel. It will moisturize it and it also improves the blood flow to the scalp. It may be a little thick and hard to wash out, so use it just on your hair, not on your scalp. And then I'm going to be adding some glycerin and Glycerin is going to draw moisture to your hair. You don't want to use glycerin by itself. You always want to mix it with something. I'm going in with my coconut oil. It has antifungal and antibacterial properties. And so I am going in with coconut oil really because I love the smell. So. And then next I am just dropping in some natural oil fragrance. This is white amber musk or white amber, something like that. It smells good. I want this to smell nice. And so I'm dropping a few, a few drops in there to make my hair oil smell good. Next guys, I am putting in this tea tree oil. I'm dropping about just two to three drops in there. And this one, you definitely don't want to use straight on your scalp. It's gonna give you a rash. But tea tree is really, really, really good for um, your scalp. It has all the antimicrobial properties in the world. So yeah, we want that in there. When you're done, you want to put your oil in the freezer for about 30 minutes you don't want it to freeze or cake up nope you just want it to get a little cold um, and start to want to freeze a bit and take it out and then we're going to whisk it and so just be patient and whisk it all the way until you start to see white peaks This music was from Na Ahine. She's such a sweetie. She sent me this background music to use. And so I just want to give her all the kudos and say, girl, I appreciate you. Thank you. And then you know it's done. 
and you can just pipe it into whatever jar or container you have and guys that's it I just will encourage you all to do your research and find out which oils will benefit your hair and use those for yourself I will link all the references below This is my miracle shea goodness hair butter that we just did. I am going to put this on especially the ends of my hair. Shea goodness. I made this butter because um, I love to try products and you know our hair doesn't like that. I am going to be going with natural products to help build my hair back again. That's why I made this shea goodness. This is how I have used my magic miracle shea goodness to um, basically moisturize my hair and trim my hair. All right, I will see you in the next video. Love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Come back next Friday for another video. Make sure to subscribe to this channel if you have not.